Hello, welcome to another edition of the Cashing In on Creativity television show. I'm your host, Bruce Edwards, and today we are going to be talking with author Robert Stevens Jr. Now, who's Robert Stevens Jr.? Well, first of all, he's a major league football star. Second of all, he's a novelist. Third of all, he's a truck driver. Fourth of all, he's a father. Change that around however you want, but he does a lot of stuff. Now, Robert was connected with me through another author friend of mine, which you probably saw on this show already, called Kelly... Um, Kelly Mac McCoy. Now, Kelly was an author, also a truck driver. Robert's an author, also a truck driver. Are you seeing a pattern here? That's right. Most of you know that I was also a truck driver, so maybe there's something going on there. Uh, but we had so much fun, and uh, you know, <laughs> we, we uh, this interview was actually done in his truck. <laughs> but I thought it was just uh, amazing to see, uh, you know, how people get inspiration and that uh, it's okay to do more than one thing. It's okay to have a profession over here and something you love to do over here, a passion. I think that's one of the things I love about doing this show is that, you know, you, you, you think of people in one way, but then you see the other things they do. So I hope you get a lot out of this interview. It was a fun one to do with Robert uh, Stevens Jr. Make sure you follow Robert on social media. He's on Instagram, Facebook. Facebook and Twitter, and uh, we'll uh, let's just get on with it, shall we? All right, all right, everybody. I have Robert Stevens Jr. on the line. How are we doing today, Robert? I'm great, thank you very much, and congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. Hopefully, <laughs> they can actually um, end it tonight and go to their first um, conference. Yes, there's been a lot of excite, a lot of excitement in here, in, here in Toronto, and uh, uh, unfortunately, the the Toronto Maple Leafs have not been able to carry the ball to the end. So this is a really exciting time, real exciting time here for sure. Right. Uh, you do. Uh, we were just talking off air that we were both connected. A uh, big shout out to Kelly Mac McCoy, who uh, introduced us through email, and uh, uh, Kelly was recently on the show and is an author as well. We're going to get into your books and all of that. You do so much stuff, my friend. Tell us what you're. <laughs> tell us what you're doing now, either for work, occupation, fun, whatever you want to share. What's going on right now? Okay, well, right now um, I just switched from an owner operator to a company driver. I now uh, work for a company, um, NFI. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're probably uh, familiar with them. Very good company. I've been with them now for about a month. I have a very good uh, dispatcher and um, transportation manager. Shout out to Penny and Gladys and, oh, and Katrina. She's the one who actually got me over here. Okay. So three females. That I give nothing but shout outs to. Okay, we're going to leave that alone, Robert, in case it goes wrong right here. But thank you to those three females. So I'll leave it. So I, you know, I got to treat the women right, man. Come on now. <laughs> how, how, how long have you been in the trucking industry? You just mentioned you came from owner operator. How long have you been trucking? 